Warm greetings. Today is Monday, October 6, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 6 a.m. in the Eastern Caribbean, where we continue to closely monitor Invest 95, which has a high probability of strengthening into Tropical Storm Jerry by midweek. This morning, we have good news, as model projections show strong agreement that the future Tropical Storm or Hurricane Jerry will likely pass about 200 to 300 miles east-northeast of the Lesser Antilles. If this scenario holds, the impacts across the northern half of the Lesser Antilles should be minimal. However, it's always important to continue monitoring its progress in case any changes occur in the forecast. Likewise, for Puerto Rico, the risk of a direct impact continues to decrease, which is definitely excellent news. As we can see in the infrared satellite imagery, Invest 95 continues to show signs of cyclonic organization, and as of 2 a.m., the National Hurricane Center keeps development chances at 70% through the next 7 days and 50% through the next 48 hours. Therefore, a tropical depression is expected to form between Tuesday and Wednesday, and it's very likely that at the 8 a.m. update, those probabilities will increase once again. Let's look at the latest track projections from the specialized models. For at least the first four days, there's good agreement that the system will maintain a west-northwest movement, and beginning Thursday, it should take a turn toward the northwest or north, passing about 100 to 200 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. In Puerto Rico's case, that distance would be about 150 to 300 miles. There's still a small chance, shown by a few models, that it could move slightly farther west. Even so, this is definitely good news. For example, compare today's projections to those from yesterday, which had the system moving much closer to the Lesser Antilles. They've since adjusted toward a track a bit farther away from the Caribbean. In terms of intensity, there's still some uncertainty. Some specialized models show a Category 3 or even Category 4 hurricane at its closest point to the Caribbean. However, the vast majority keep it as a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. And although it's expected to pass a bit distant from the northeastern Caribbean, its intensity will still be important, as it could bring strong swells across the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Let's look at the latest model runs. Starting with the American model, by Tuesday morning it develops into a tropical depression and then strengthens into Tropical Storm Jerry by Wednesday, eventually becoming a hurricane as it reaches its closest point to the Northeast Caribbean between Friday morning and afternoon. In the latest overnight run, it shows a Category 2 hurricane passing about 150 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles and about 350 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. The European model, on the other hand, takes longer to organize the system, showing a tropical depression by Wednesday morning and it projects the storm passing about 250 miles northeast of the Caribbean. It also keeps it relatively weak, perhaps only as a tropical storm. Meanwhile, the German model, previously one of the most aggressive, now delays development until Wednesday morning, which causes the system to move slightly closer to the Lesser Antilles. In this case, it shows a track 25 to 50 miles northeast of the islands early Friday morning and about 200 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. But unlike previous runs, it now keeps it as a tropical storm instead of a strong hurricane. So overall, this is excellent news for the northeastern Caribbean, as we're seeing better model agreement and greater confidence that the system will pass to the northeast of the region. Still, it's important to stay updated, since there remains a very unlikely scenario, shown by the UK model, in which the system could pass closer to or even over the northern Lesser Antilles. In its latest run, that model shows a weak tropical storm crossing the region early Friday morning. Forecast confidence increases when we look at the ensemble members of the American model, since the vast majority keep the system just northeast of the Caribbean. However, a few members still show a slightly more westward track over the northern Lesser Antilles, representing about 15-20% to of the members. This means most are aligned with the operational model runs. The European ensemble members also show strong agreement, with all of them keeping the system northeast of Puerto Rico at a safe distance, except for about 3 or 4 members that have a track over the northern Lesser Antilles. So this defines the current cone of uncertainty, and the scenario where it crosses over the northern islands continues to decrease in likelihood. The AI model from Google also agrees with these projections, so we're definitely seeing solid consensus. If future Tropical Storm Jerry maintains this track, the heaviest rain would remain over the Atlantic waters, while the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico could see about 1 to 3 inches of rain over the next 5 days. Tropical storm force winds, and possibly hurricane force winds, would remain at a safe distance from both regions making tropical storm conditions very unlikely according to the latest forecasts. However, it's important to stay alert to marine conditions. Some models project wave heights between 10 and 12 feet across the northern half of the Lesser Antilles and 8 to 10 feet along the northern coasts of Puerto Rico. So please use caution and avoid visiting beaches toward the end of this week. Well, 
That's all for this forecast update, here at Hurricane Info. I'll continue monitoring Invest 95 and keep you informed of any changes in the forecast. For now, everything looks calm. No need to worry. Just stay watchful as usual. And if you don't want to miss future updates, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to receive notifications whenever I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent start to the week. See you next time.